What's good, YouTube? So we're back with another 2K video. I know it's been like six months since my last post. Uh, stopped playing after season two for a while, but I'm back and I'm here to hit y'all with a new build. This is going to be the 6 9 offensive engine. Uh, you could really use this build in any game mode you want, it doesn't really matter. Ideally, you'd want to run it in a five out with four pieces around you that fit perfectly to make this build work, which means shooting guard two way, small forward peer lock, power forward back in, and in the center, you would want a stretch popper type build. Uh, anyway, here we go. This build is designed to have zero weaknesses on offense all around, whether it be slashing, shooting, or passing. And the defense is actually pretty good along with it. So here we go. All right, before we start, let's just go ahead and max out the physicals. We're going to go 80 speed, 71 excel for slippery off ball on silver, which I personally like. It does help. Strength on 84. If you're going to have a build that's designed to slash, you should have some strength on that build because unless you're able to create free runs to the basket with your dribble moves, you're likely going to get bumped and... If you run into somebody with no strength, you're just going to get folded over, get a bad layup animation, and yeah, it's not going to go in. 82 vertical, 99 stamina. Um, let's go to the finishing. We'll start the 71 close shot. 91 driving layup for the goal slithery. 92 driving dunk for... Goal Precision Dunker, and if anybody's going to ask why not 90, well, I went 92 for two reasons. One, you get the Andrew Wiggins Dunk Package, and two, you get one of the, uh, the uh, contact animations. I believe it's, it might be uh, alley-oops. I believe it's the alley-oop animations. Post Control, we're taking it up to 92 for that Goal Unpluckable. Um, and again... If anybody's going to say, why didn't you just make your wingspan 7-1 so you could get the 94 driving dunk? Well, the reason why I didn't do that is because I didn't want to sacrifice any shooting. I wanted the best possible shooting on this build. Um, I didn't want to really sacrifice anywhere, and I don't feel like sacrificing from 94 to 92 just for the goal post to rise. It really matters that much. Um, yeah, you won't get the Jordan dunks, but you got to be starter 3 for that anyway. And... Yeah, I mean, if you're good with the dunk meter, then 92, 94 should produce or should play relatively similar. Mid range, we're gonna max it out at 93 for the Hall of Fame catch and shoot, along with the Gold Blinders, Dead Eye, Green Machine, Space Creator, Hall of Fame Guard Up, Mini Magician, Open Looks, Comeback Kid, Dream Shake, Post Fade Phenom, and Whistle on Gold. Three, we're gonna max that out. 86 gives us gold claymore gold cor uh, corner specialist silver agent threes very important badge uh, bronze limitless range we're gonna max out our free throw at 95 let's get to the playmaking we're gonna go to 91 pass accuracy uh, you get Tyrese Halliburton pass package at 89 along with silver bailout gold break starter gold dimer needle threader relay passer touch passer and then hall of fame post playmaker and special delivery ball handle want to max that out at 80 for the best possible animations if you are a dribble god and you do not need any type of speed with ball and you can move on the court like Koza and them people or Steezo, then no you do not need to upgrade your speed with ball uh, blow by speed booster hyper drive none of those badges actually do anything and all the launches are out of certain uh, there are certain launches out of certain animations that you can trigger regardless of what your speed with ball is. I brought mine up to 72 though, just because I like to play the game at my pace sometimes at the point guard. And I don't want to have to blow out dribble and then trigger three different dribble moves just to get up the court in a, in, in a fast fashion. So nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just I'd rather just have the 72 speed with ball so I can just hold R2, get up the court at my pace, and go from there. Defense, we're going to bring that up to 75. Get you ankle braces, challenger clamps, fast feet, pick dodger, and workhorse all on bronze. Silver off ball pass. At this point, you can really do whatever with the build. Um, I think I put a couple points in the block and rebounding. And that's the build. 
Uh, you can't really add anything else after the 75 perimeter that'll really add a badge or take you to take something else to the next level. So I just put a couple points in blocking, defensive rebounding because I'm going to be playing the corner on this build. Not that that 29 block or 34 defensive rebound is going to help, but here we go. Shades of Tracy McGrady, Clay Thompson, and Herbert Jones. Not on her. Anyway, here's the build. Diamond, three-level threat. Very good build. Um, I'm currently at a 70 overall on mine. Working on it. I will bring it out as soon as I can get it into a usable state. That being said, I appreciate y'all checking out the video. It's been a long time, but I'm back. I'm going to hit y'all with another video right soon after this. Telling y'all what I think 2K needs to add to 2K25 to or change whatever what to do with the next 2k so you can have the most amount of fun and maximize the longevity and replayability of this game anyways y'all have a good day and i will catch y'all later peace